Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing this fine Thursday evening? Did you miss me last week uh, celebrating Becky's 21st birthday again? We had a uh, great time, family around, ordered a takeaway, big Chinese. So we had a good time last weekend or last Thursday. So let's see who's in the house tonight. Starting off with Leslie Gilpin Railway. Good evening, Leslie. We've got Martin O'Keefe in as well. Hi, Martin. Limo Chairman 1, Top Mods in House, Martin O'Keefe, or I said Martin, yeah, uh, Valleys 56, Chris, how are you doing? Tom Houston Motorwell, good evening sir, how are you doing? Brian Madden, where did you disappear to at that show? We went in together, looked for you, you disappeared. Uh, Peter Jackson, Sheila Heath, uh, who else we got in? Anthony Dodge, good evening Anthony, how are you doing? Nick Banks too, good evening sir. And Joshua W Fix Gaming, good evening Joshua, hope you're keeping well. RTJ Trains, Grace and Rob, good evening guys, hope you're keeping well. Anthony Middleport Junction, good evening Anthony. Simon Trains Model Railway Showcase, good evening Simon, how you doing? Arnville's here, Scott Rails is in the house. Well, we're looking at a nice Walnut Junction. Present XD Locomotive Shed. Lynn Tree Time New, a double O gauge model railway. Good evening. So, how is everyone this evening? Hope everyone's keeping well. Um, was that the Banger Show by the North Down Model Railway Society? It was their show. I must say, Ellen, who's organising it, has really outdone herself this year with the show. She wants to make it bigger and better than last year. She certainly did. It uh, was a model show, so it encompassed uh, a lot of things. There was uh, Radio control, planes, boats, cars, trucks, four by fours. Um, there was tabletop gaming. There was demonstrations of different types of modeling, uh, as long as with loads and loads of layouts. So 80, 85% of it was model railways, but there was all the other hobbies in there and it showed all the interchangeability between hobbies and skills that uh, can transfer across from one hobby to another. Um, it was a great show. Um, the video is out on it tomorrow. It is a long video, I think it's one hour and 40 minutes. Uh, so you definitely want to sit down with a cup of tea and a few bickies and watch that. It, um, big thanks to North Down for letting me in, come in and film and also to all the exhibitors as well. So a lot of them were quite happy to not necessarily be seen on camera, but to talk about their layouts and give information on it. So there's a lot of information there in all the layouts and the other hobbies as well. I think part of the video, there's like a, a flying demonstration and also a RC car demonstration, I mean, lots of information there, so look forward to that tomorrow. It took me three days to edit. It was one of the biggest videos I've ever done. And, oh, I think I was editing in my sleep. Anyway, while I was there, I did make a few purchases. So we're going to go through those now. Uh, let me just go back to the chat and see if anyone else has popped in while they've been gabbing on. Uh, oh, Jerry BVR is in. Good evening, Jerry. Hope you're keeping well. Oh, Digger's in as well. Hi, Digger. And hi to, uh, to all those people who said hello to me when I was up there as well. So a few of you there who just listen in the background, who don't come into the chat. I think uh, Gary. Is it Gary I was chatting to? Hello, if you're watching. Um, Valerie, of course, who we see in the chat there. The Glen Abbey Model Club, she was there as well. So, met a good few of you. It was great to meet you and chat and everything and enjoy all the modeling stuff. So, anyway, on with my bag of goodies. What did I get? Well, the club stand there had a lot of stuff for sale. And I did partake in a few things. So, first thing I got was I already have a copy of this, but it was a pound, which is a steal. Um, it's a County Daddy Go Railway companion, basically it gives all the information if you want to model. Then the Go Railway has got all the plans of various things in there, coaches, rail cars, everything like that. So it's a very handy guide to have. So I got that. And then I did pick up. Good old class 37 red stripe 
We'll take that out of the box in a minute and put it on the rolling road to see if it works. I haven't taken it out yet. My missus is wanting to take this off me and put it away for my birthday. So she's watching. Hi, honey. And then just a whole load of wagons. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out one by one and put them on the track. I only need to take them out of the bag check. By the way, going around on the layers, we have class two class 37s on the 6x4 layer going around there. I have class 37 on here and my A class. And you'll notice that the trains are actually running on this layer tonight because I swapped out that point uh, the weekend after the last live stream. Uh, this is the offending point here. It looks perfectly fine. I've checked it over. I can't see anything wrong with it. So all I can think is there's something wrong with the internal wiring in there somewhere that's causing a short. So I put a multimeter on it, that's fine. Put a multimeter on it again, and it shorts out. I, I, I don't get what it is. So i am definitely got this one marked now. It's gonna to go to one side, and it's not gonna be used on the layout in the future. So I have no idea what's causing it. Real mystery. Oh, SJ Chain World's in. Good evening, Simon. How are you doing? So, 36 in. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, I don't know if any of you uh, watched the St. Patrick's Day Parade video that I put up. Um, what I usually do with that video is I do put it up on my channel, but I put it unlisted and then shared on the St. Patrick's Day Facebook page. Because uh, of course I put that up and immediately had a thing about 20 people unsubscribe because it wasn't a, a train video. Um, usually I put it unlisted and then, but I published it without thinking. <laughs> it became one of my best videos that like, reached almost 4,000 views in less than a week. I've never had a video go like that. So, little wagon, little van. Marked up for LMS, so I'm gonna put these on the track here. As I take them out, there's lots of them here. Go through. So bear with me. Little uh, ore wagon. Make sure I put it on the don't put it on the working line. All right, I'm gonna put the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Murphy's models are on their way, I believe. So here we have another little wagon. Got to get Western. Seems to run pretty well. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a few of these items, so uh, it took me a while. Don't forget, um, Jason's on after me. I've oh, went quiet, right? The old stop. Not sure it's dark. Lost the truck for some reason. As I was saying, Jason is live after me. Um, there will be a link appearing at the end of my stream to take you straight over there. And anybody got any questions, pop them in the chat. I'm keeping half an eye on them here. Except my chat has frozen on me. Let's go out of that, back in again. Oh, Leicester Station. Gary's in the house. How you doing, Gary? Um, anybody else who's popped in I've haven't seen, say hello, oh, there's a shiny forehead. Anyway, on with the... It must have taken them ages to put each of these in a little bag. Another little LMS wagon. 
Now, can someone answer me this? With um, the four regions in the UK, did all the wagons and coaches, did they all have the same sort of buffer height and coupling height? So they could an LMS wagon run on a GWR, because I know with the Denigal, the Swilly and the Denigal, even though they're both three foot narrow gauge, they had different buffer heights. So they had to have a special wagon at the CDR at one end and the Swilly height at the other end to pull each other's wagons. Another little plank wagon. Well, that's not actually, yeah, there's a plank wagon. Oh, do I see hot dog in? Even a hot dog? Oh, we'll suck. See, Nick's is in as well. How are you doing? Another little blank wagon with coal in it. So all these um, open wagons, they seem to have um, coal or ballast or something in them, gravel. So what's everyone been up to modeling wise anyway? Any excitement? Anything? Sorry, my little LMS wagon. my fault I must have unwrapping and I must have hit one of the points. I was going against the point shorting out so that was my fault. So I'll let that reset again. Oh Ewan's in the house and Carl's in the house. Good evening guys, how are you doing? I don't know if anybody answered that question I had. Oh was Jason in as well? Yeah, Jason's in. Hi, Jason. How you doing? I've got a, a link up to forward everybody on to your live stream after. So, there's another little... Now, would you guys call this a wagon or a van? So, I think I've got enough here to make up two fairly decent rigs. Hi Barry, how are you doing? Um, actually what I've done is because there was a lot of people there is I didn't go to the stall until the Sunday evening when it was near closing and I sort of mopped up what was left. So everyone had their fair chance to to go. So I didn't go in there straight away first thing in the morning on Saturday morning. And okay, I just need to move the camera a little bit so we can. Going 
Oh, graham lemons and sages in. But your audio is not your usual audio. Is it a bit quiet, is it? Let me just make some adjustments. Is that any better? So that's another plank wagon. I've got some chocolate and cream. Coaches as well. I've got four of those. Use them to last. I'm going to get, to be honest, I'm not actually sure how many wagons I've got because I just sort of went, ooh, those, 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 those. That makes up a rake. Another WR wagon. That's plugin. Um, some of these are Triang, Triang, but they seem to be running really well, really smooth. And then I know they got the wheels are a bit chunkier and we might run into problems with them, but uh, open wagon. You can see they've all got um, gravel or coal or something in them. <coughs> Excuse me. Emirates Road, good evening. Ooh, Jason's got a little treat on the show tonight. Ooh. Amberley Motor Railway, good evening. How are you doing? Andy Dobson's in the house. How are you doing, Andy? Nope. Hopefully I fixed it for now for the member sneak peek. Sorry about that. Whoa, what did you do, guys? How are you getting on with StreamYard? I see you started using it. That's our DJ trains. Oh, John O'Donoghue missed you. How are you doing, John? Just scrolling back through the chat here, make sure there's nothing uh, I missed. Uh, oh, 137 stopped. Why is that stopped? Of course, it's stopped in the furthest away part to reach. So I've got to climb over boxes and lean over there. So that's going to stay parked up for now. Question, I've been given Pico Track 009 code 80. What's the difference in the code to the other? Well, the code usually relates to the size of the actual rail. So if you like uh, 00 gauge, you've got code 100 or code 75. Code 75 is just a bit, the rail's a bit finer. And someone would say more prototypical to scale. Another little lag in there. Uh, I think. The HO use code 83, is it, in the States, I think? She left the soil with a wagon. I certainly did. Oh, Rob broke things again. The winter shutter layer. Can you just mention that? It's been sitting in my son's bedroom. Uh, I just actually moved it down into the hallway because it's going, because I was going to put it in my attic, but <laughs> it won't fit in the attic. I can't get it through the hatch. There's enough height in the roof to get it up there. So I'm uh, going to take it to the railway, to the storage shed in the railway, where it'll be stored. Oh, I'm not swagging. But it's still working fine. You think it's coming from the camera? All right, hang on, let me check the settings a minute. Uh, audio. 
No, it says it's coming through the GoPro, but not the GoPro, the wireless Go. Let me move the lip panel mic around a bit. Right, how's that? Has that made any difference? Because it's got full settings on the... Did you just sweep a trader's stock into your ton of <laughs> no, I was surprised there was all these left and I just went, I just, he gave, I was picking up my handful and I said, oh, if you've got a box, he gave me a big tub and I just started putting them in. And then, uh, Can you go and see mommy and ask mommy? Because I'm doing my life at the moment. That was little Adam coming in there. I don't know if you guys see him. Uh, LMS wagon. Bells Carl away. Take care, Carl. No problem, Ironville. I hope I was able to give you enough of an answer. Looks so, like a buffer in that bag. Which one did that come off of? Never come away with the classics here, man. Plus, oh, plus, plus sixty-eight. What were you doing up there, you? But the LMS, London Midland Scottish, actually owned part of the Denegal Railway. So part of the Denegal Railway was owned jointly by the LMS and the Great Northern Railway. I'm going to start putting some of bags on the floor because it's slipping into the current. Again. But we've got four or three in the house. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button for me and subscribe if you're new here. If you've got any questions, pop them in the chat. I'll do my best to try and answer them. My phone is uh, on the connection, so the chat's disappeared on me temporarily. Yeah, I'm running out of room on this side. 
So we're almost at the bottom. Another wagon. And I went there and said, I'm not going to buy anything. So another first wagon. And finally, one last plank wagon. Is it possible to fit a HR on Bluetooth? Well, in theory, yes, but it would depend the size of the engine. And let's see, what are their 21 pin? Apparently, the HM 7000s, or are they the Flux 22? I think they're 21 pin, aren't they? My battery? Yes, my banger buys. Rule one model railways. How are you doing, sir? How's Nick? How are you keeping, sir? I haven't seen you back for a while. I was wondering if you were going to be up in Bangor at the weekend. So I also got four of these coaches. It's just I've got a couple of chocolate and cream ones. So I want to just make up a break. They're not all the same. But they're chocolate and cream. They're going around the layout. No one's going to notice, apart from maybe off with the counter. There we are. The chocolate and cream. Again, these are ooh, made in Hong Kong. Oh, it's an Airfix. That's our fix. Made in Great Britain. So that's Hornby. So I'll go with my King Charles of Bristolian. The London Paddington ones I've got. Ironville, I'm going to be doing the same thing on this. I'm going to put in uh, a circular double O9 around because I've got a double O9 model off a Dunning Hall rail car. Uh, and I'm hoping to get a couple more. Well, anything that the um, British companies would have ran over here, they would have had to get regaged because we had five foot three over here, whereas four foot eight and a half in the UK. So I think they did send over some carriages, uh, obviously without the bogies, and they were just put on different bogies over here. Yeah, so I'll take the camera off the tripod now so you can see. So, get a bit shaky now for a minute. So, there we have my wagons. Open wagons. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 wagons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 open wagons. Various priorities 7 plank, 5 plank. As well as four coaches and the right there. Five, six, seven. So let's take this out of the box now. Have a look at it. I've got rolling road over there. I'm going to set it up on there. Make sure it's working. 
Right, let's just put the camera back. Point it down so you can watch the trains as I unbox this. <laughs> yeah, I only got a little bit carried away, Tom. But I just thought that makes up a nice size rake now for going around the layer. So, All right, so we've got the R37 construction here in the box. No detailing pack with it, so let's actually clear it over time. Class 37, drivers fitted. It's got sprung buffers, which I can never see the point of having sprung buffers. But hey. It's got switches on the bottom for the lights. So let's put it on the rolling road and see if it works. So, watch out, I'm going to move the camera. I'm not coming through very well. Is that the picture or the sound? Because Graham was saying earlier the sound was a bit dodgy. Simon with the puns, got on the bandwagon and he did it. Right, that's, uh, so I've got my CCC concepts. Rolling road. It's a good rolling road, this. Not a bit thick. Connected. Ooh, the trees. It runs. I can leave that running like that for a few minutes now. Swap directions and just see how it goes. Cat lights come on. Back lights are on. The front lights are on. Swap it over. We'll see. So everyone's got sign and picture, fine, okay. Hey, Graham said something about the sign. You knew right there, it looks suspiciously portable. Will you see it shows? Uh, yes, Nick, you will see it shows if I ever get it finished. It's been stuck at this level now for a while. I've had a few track issues I'm trying to iron out. But I'm hoping now, this weekend, Bank Holiday weekend, um, I can do the final little few fixes on the track. I got one section of track to replace. What I gotta do should take about an hour. And then I'm gonna start building the upper level, the frames, getting them in place, start doing some track laying, get that done. Because once I have that done, then it's full help with the scenery. So that's the plan anyway. Yes, it's sectional, it's 12 foot by seven foot. It's made up of eight sections. Be two levels, hope to have four loops going around it, an engine shed, small station, a TMD, and a loop of 009. 
Oh, Raymond's in the house. Hi, Raymond. How are you doing? The video, it's actually, i done it in one video, Valerie. It's one hour 40. Um, it's going up tomorrow. It'll be available from 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So sit down with a cuppa and a few bickies and watch it. I've got, this year, I've got quite a few interviews with different um, layouts. So they're actually telling us layouts, the information on it. Um, also got some demonstrations there from the different RC people, the planes and um, trucks and cars and everything there explaining their hobby. Also, uh, the guys from the tabletop gaming, you know, Warhammer and all that sort of thing, they gave me a little interview to tell us about their games and their hobby and how it works. Um, one of their games guys uh, well, from the hobby shop was doing tree, similar way to we all do it. Uh, map and frame, fill it in, add on, um, sea foam and sprinkle various scatters on it to bring it to life. How many class 37s do I have? Probably six or seven, I think. Yeah, spring back. Let's bring back full forward. <laughs> I think it's the other way around, isn't it, Tom? Yeah, it, it will be brilliant once I get it built. Like, you know, it's just uh, my my plan for it is to actually not be here in the center. Actually, just turn that camera around. So you can see down the main line, so, so to speak. I don't want to be in the center of the layout when I'm at shows. I want to be on the outside. And I want to have a few operators with me so when people come up, they can have a go at operating it. So for the, the TMD and the engine shed, it's going to be at either ends. And I'm going to put the switches for the points that side. So if kids come up, you know, they can say, right, you've got to take the steam engine out of the shed, over to the coal, and over to the water. And likewise with the TMD, you got to take the engine out, fuel it, wash it, you know, that sort of thing, so they can have a go at playing with it. <laughs> the answer is not enough. <laughs> How many A4s do you have? Well, not as many as you, Brian. Um, I have, I think I have three A4s. I think it's three I have. All various incarnations of the Mallard, green one and a blue one. I think I, think I have two green Mallards, I think. I'm a lot of as usual. Plus 16, 59, there's only 15 in the club. <laughs> well, there's too many beers, doesn't make sense. Is there such a thing as too many beers? Not enough beers. Trevor View, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to hit that like button for me, guys. Uh, what time are we at now? Oh, it's 10 past 8. Don't forget, Jason's on after me. Uh, the stream will redirect you over to his. And he says he's got some surprise for us tonight. So I don't know what he's planning. So jealous of that van train. Oh, Jake, how you doing? I didn't even know you were here. Hope you keep him well, sir. Going off for a walk, okay. Take care, mate. Yeah, it is. I, I like having rakes of things. I think it, you know, it'll look good. And I think, what did I say? There was 19 there. I mean, that's not too, for this size layout, it's probably a bit right, maybe just a little bit too long. It's obviously have to put a brake bag in on the end. Um, it might be that the um, plank 
ligands on there is probably about the right size. But the, like the plan of the layout is to have uh, four loops going around, and what I want to split it into is two, two and two. So two can be set up like in steam air with seven or four signals, that sort of thing, and then two can be set up with light signals. You know, all sort of working on the um, infrared detector, so when it comes up, the signal changes. I'm not going to go down a route of having it completely computerized and everything like that, because that adds complexity that I don't want to have with a layout that I'm moving around. I want things, I want it to work so if something breaks when you're moving it, it's, you're still going to have 80-90% of it working. Your granddaughter's exhausted you. All right, you didn't take care of me. You need steam locus for the open rack. I have got steam locus. I've got uh, little tank engines. I've got, I think I've got a prairie somewhere. I've got uh, flying Scotsman. I've got a 9F. So I do have a few. Yeah, you go and relax, go out, run a few trains, just sit there, have a beer, relax. So how's the sound now? Is the sound actually improved or is it still, you still having problems? Graham and Valerie. Yeah, flying Scotsman on the wagons just to annoy the river, yeah. I, 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 when I took that 6x4 layout to Coltra up in Belfast, not last year, I think it was the year before, just went up, I think it, because I had a 30, no, 47 going around with some intercity coaches and I had my A class going around with the Irish coaches and it just blew some people's heads, they couldn't, they were like, duh, duh. did they regauge that 47 or did they regauge the A class? I don't know Oh, it's just trains running around me. Enjoy it. Yeah, I've, is that the one now you were running around trying to find somewhere to test it, Valerie? Right, it did look nice. Sound is better. Yeah, I think I, because I moved my bike, mic. <laughs> Calm down with the model. I'm just turning the model. Yeah. I must say, uh, I don't think I came across any of the I'm sure everyone was good spirited. We, everyone, um, it, it, the, even more people know me now, it's really strange being, no one was using my first name, so Denny Goddard, hey Denny Goddard, how you doing? Denny Goddard, come over here, it's a bit, it was a bit strange. <laughs> that going Denny is compared to usual. It might be something in StreamYard tonight, I don't know, because I, I haven't got anything set any differently. Right, let's actually change the direction on that for itself. Right, the lights on one end aren't working the red lights are on and the other direction the white lights are come on. So something to check when I chip it. It might be just the panels come loose or something. But that seems to be running fine. So that's the actually the second red stripe I have now. I do for some reason I do like that livery, the grey and red stripe. I have a couple with uh, forty sevens, I think, with the grey livery but no red stripe. Let's go. Come on, let's go. That's Adam coming in again.
So I have to get my new um, DCC system. I went for the Gage Master system with Wi-Fi on it. So I'll be able to use a couple of phones and tablets with um, to control it. So I'm looking forward to getting that soon. So, oh, other news, I have booked myself to go to Keeves Model World in April. So if any of you guys are going there, end of April, I'll see you there. Just decided uh, after coming back from Bangor, saying, oh, that was a really good show. And I thought, you know what, you go and see it. Turns out that weekend is my brother-in-law's 40th birthday, which is my missus' brother. So we're heading over to Bristol, and I've actually I booked a train. So we're flying into Bristol on Friday. I get the train up Saturday morning, staying overnight, and coming back Sunday evening. And then we fly back out Monday. And the return train ticket is like 71 quid. When I looked at I could actually fly from Bristol to Dublin and back to Birmingham cheaper than the bloody train ticket. So I will be there. I've got my ticket, I've got my hotel, I've got my train ticket, got my flights. So I'll be there. I'll have no money to spend on anything. So hopefully I'll have enough money to buy a sandwich. Anyone going by train check because most are well replacement buses. Uh, I don't. Oh, I, we're not. Yeah, because there is strikes on the beginning of April. But there was no strikes announced for the end of April. When I last looked. And to be honest, I haven't been on a real train in years. I can't remember what. Well, saying that, no, I was on a train in Northern Ireland last year, but. And they are good trains. Let's put it this way, I haven't been on a four foot eight and a half inch gauge train in a long time. Oh, Jason, if they're looking for volunteers to help out, I'll do it. <laughs> At least I might get to see the layout be on that side of it. No strikes, this 16th of April on overtime for six. Yeah, well, there's nothing scheduled in for the 27th and 28th, isn't it, when the NEC shows on? So it probably means I won't be able to make gets this year because I can only take trips across so many times before my missus will uh, grind me, lock my train room and not allow me in there. Yeah, 27 is fine at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, so getting, I think it's cross country to New Street and then somebody else from New Street to Birmingham International. So get to go on two trains. You sit there with a big smiley head on me. Until I get there and find, oh, your train's been cancelled, sir. <laughs> Here's a bus. <laughs> Oh, you on about the other Bangor show? Yes, the Bangor show is, um, if you know Bangor, it's across the road from the Asda in um, Church Hall, and it's on the Friday evening, and it's on the Saturday, the 24th and 25th. It's 
So I think I'm going to go up on the 24th for a few hours because 25th of Saturday is my birthday. So I'll be signing up family. Hi, Charlie. How's it going? How are you keeping me? Yeah, that, that, those messages you sent me up with the train stuff you find there, the actual uh, the Northwest Railway Society, I actually know their members. Um, they're still going. They actually own some Denny Gold stock. They rescued it from Straban when it was just lying there after closure. Yeah, I was thinking of heading over to Jason's if I can. Um, because when it's the end of June, isn't it? Well, thanks for putting up the old channel membership. If anybody wants to be a channel member, very much appreciated. As I say, anything I earn off this channel goes to maintaining models and that in the uh, museum. I don't actually use any of the money for myself. Um, you can see there the last thing I put in was the new control panels. That was all Gauge Master stuff. That was a couple of weeks ago. And it's thanks to all the channel members and people who just watch the videos and sit through the ads. Some, so crew, your crew shows on the 23rd. Yeah, it'd be great if you could send them over. Oh, I can send you some money for postage, Charlie. Or, you know, it can wait until you're next over this side of the pond if you uh, want to stick them in the post there. Because uh, what I would like to do over the summer is um, I would like to drive over with the uh, tent and the boot of the car and do a little tour about the kids because I've only got a couple of younger kids now that you're traveling with me because the rest are working or college or some of them are actually going to be in the UK working anyway. Um, so I'd like to come over, get the ferry across to Hollyhead, pop in and see Grace and Rob and then see uh, Lord Al as well on the way past and I want to go up to York to the um, museum there because I've never been there and just do a little turn about the UK for four weeks or so. Where's your spanner gone? Well, I think you changed your name, so I don't know if that's has taken away your spanner. That's good. Yeah, no problem, Charlie. Right, I'm going to switch off that 37 because it's always in the way there quite happily, so that's working. Uh, it's a 21 pin. I think I do have a 21 pin chip somewhere. So I might do that over the weekend. Advantage drivers are going to get 600 quid a shift on top of their salary. Wow.
Yeah, Charlie, if you're coming over this way and you know when you're coming over, you know, if it's possible, it will uh, fly over to meet you or whatever. I'm really disappointed that Anthony couldn't make it, but that was COVID and he couldn't travel, it's understandable, but hopefully he'll be over sometime soon. Okay, Anthony, take care. You see two locals sold for 14K and 7K each. What locals were they? The real ones? No, I've already reversed the 37. It's, uh, it's had its run both directions for about 10 minutes and I've uh, switched it off now. Right, it's uh, 26 minutes past by me, so Jason will be on now in a few minutes, so I'll be saying goodbye shortly, and we can all head over and watch Jason, see what he's got, what surprise he's got for us. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me there about the online, Brian's online shop, do check it out. Also, I think it's his monthly waffle this Saturday, about 6 p.m., I think. Uh, so don't, uh, don't forget to check out Brian. You know the surprise TV show. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully now I'll get some work done on this layout over the weekend. That's what I've planned. But my missus could have other plans for me that I don't know about yet. Um, I want to start on the upper level now, at least start cutting the wood and building it. And maybe not necessarily getting the track laid, but um, fixing those few gremlins I got on the lower level and get on with it. Well, once I finish my stream, it should automatically send you over there. I've linked his stream to come up the end of mine, so it will take you over. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll be back again next Thursday. As I say, tomorrow the video is out on the Bangor Show. Lots of interesting stuff in it. A lot of interviews with people and their layouts, and a lot of other RC stuff and all that sort of thing. So you know. Do, uh, do have a look at it and enjoy it. So it is a long one, so you might want to do over a couple of sessions. It took me three days to edit. <laughs> and then when I edited it, the damn thing wouldn't upload. YouTube was having a, a, some sort of upset about it and it wouldn't take it up. And uh, It was a whole handling, as we would say here. Oh, uh, the track, that what's playing in the background there, that is actually a cab view ride from somewhere in Brazil. So that's what's playing in the TV in the background. Actually, I should have put that up. I think so you guys could see it. You can see it there for the last minute. So anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a day now. Thanks, everyone, for uh, watching. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up, Hit it on your way out and subscribe if you're new here. And hopefully I'll see you all next week. Video out tomorrow. And I'll be back Thursday for some more of this. So thanks very much, guys. Talk to you all soon. And I'll see some of you over at Jason's. Bye for now.